Frozen 2, the 58th animation film produced by Walt Disney Animation Studios, saw the directors, producer, and music composers reunite after Frozen, the previous installment that was released in 2013. The film had the highest all-time worldwide opening for an animated film and went on to gross $1.45 billion worldwide, making it the third highest grossing film of 2019 the 10th highest grossing film of all time, and the second highest grossing animated film of all time behind the remake of The Lion King, which was released that same year. Frozen 2 may not have outlived its prequel, but it sure did live up to the expectations. And that's part of the reason why our team at Movie House decided to see it again. The rest, as they say, is Movie House history. That repeats itself. So here are 20 mistakes that we found in Frozen 2. 1. The first mistake involves this scene where the girl's mother sings them a lullaby to get them ready for bed. As Anna falls asleep first and her mother begins to take her to bed, have a look at this doll near the window. As she puts Anna in bed, she picks up Elsa and sings to her. And that's where we see the doll again, but in a different position. The doll, like Annabelle, appears to have moved on its own. We don't intend to scare you guys. 2. Over here! Take your attention away from the game that they are playing and take a look at the things kept on the floor near Sven. Notice how at first the sand clock and the basket are next to each other. However, in the following shots, the sand clock appears to be placed behind the basket. And then again, after Anna reveals the word, the shot shows us that the items have changed the position by a good degree. 3. In this rather captivating scene, unlike the things on the table in the background, they start rotating even without anyone touching them. 4. Coming back to this scene again, notice the distance of the chair from the carpet. Well, it appears to have moved a little when the scene from the next shot. Looks like some dark forces are at play here. 5. All right, now notice how that big mirror and table disappears. Wow, that is a rather serious overlook. 6. There appears to be a few distancing mistakes in Frozen 2. Over here, notice the distance between the photo frame and the clock. It changes from the angle afar. 7. That giant wall of mist is indeed eerie and quite captivating, and notice how the group upon reaching it are all lined up in a row. And when Olaf and Kristoff are denied access, notice how close they are to Anna and Elsa. But in the following wide-angle shot, where after Elsa is given access, Olaf and Kristoff somehow disappear from the frame. 8. Later in that same scene, when the crew is ambushed by the folks living in the forest, take a look at how Anna is holding the sword and how the icicle parts are pointed towards her. But later in the subsequent shot, the icicle parts are pointed away from the sword. 9. Here is yet another positioning discrepancy. When Elsa tells Yolanda that something has called her to the forest, Notice how Anna is standing towards the right of Elsa. But when the shot switches to the fire spirit's viewpoint, Anna is on Elsa's left side. 10. Notice the trees in the scene. Logically speaking, once the fire has subsided, the trees ought to bear the burn marks at least, if they have not been burnt already. Contrary to that realistic expectation, the trees look intact. 11. In this scene, notice how Honey Marin places her cup next to her while talking about the fifth elemental spirit to Elsa. Well, it disappears at a later shot. 12. Now this is a mistake that has appeared even in Frozen. Let's take a look back. We can see Elsa's hair passes through her shoulder. Coming back to Frozen 2, over here, when Anna's singing, the next right thing, she puts a bag on her shoulder with a strap on top of her hair. After the camera spins around her, the hair is suddenly on top of the strap. Here is a slow motion take on it. This mistake may have crept in because animating hair around objects is difficult enough that shortcuts are often taken. 13. 
In this part of the scene, as Anna goes on to face the rock giant, notice the pattern of the trees behind her. In the second shot, the branches appear to have become thicker and longer. 14. In this same scene, notice how after the branches anomaly, even the trees behind Anna disappear in the following shots. 15. Over here, as Anna tries to convince the guards that the dam must fall, notice the shield with the female guard. Well, it changes position with the shots. 16. In this scene, we can clearly see how the boulders thrown by the rock giants damage the bridge right towards the middle. The damage leaves absolutely no room to walk on that part of the bridge. But as the boulders damage the other end of the bridge, Anna has to be trapped. But apparently she's not. As you can see here, she's able to run across that damaged part as though it was intact. 17. Coming back to this scene where Anna tries to convince the guards, notice the position of the guard at the left near the cliff. In the subsequent shots, it appears he moved away from the cliff. 18. Logically speaking, taking into account the basic principles of dam safety, inciting the rock giants to throw their boulders was an incredibly dangerous way to remove the menace of the dam. This could have been safely accomplished by partially opening the sluice gates and then dismantling the dam. Once all the excess water has gently drained away, but that does not sound dramatic, does it? 19. And here we have yet another distance-related mistake. We can clearly see that Anna and Lieutenant Destin taking a good seven to eight steps to reach the statue from the tree to reveal the statue. But from this aerial shot, the tree appears to be very far. 20. And lastly, with our statue reveal scene again, notice how just before the reveal, the people standing behind Anna and Lieutenant Destin, Matthias, change it. It appears the crew were at many times pretty careless. And that's all, folks. Let us know in the comments if we've missed any mistakes. With all those mistakes, many of which were, well, minimally impactful, we can pass off Frozen 2 as a decent flick and look forward for the rumored Frozen 3 release in 2023. Until then, do like and subscribe to Movie House for more such content. And also follow our handle on Instagram. Until next time, stay safe, folks.